that are out there. Now, you know, hardly any stores have any product at all. I went to my Walmart the other day, uh, and man, they are empty. Even that, that big goofy thing, you know, that, that wrecks all the that orange display that they have hanging there that wrecks all the cars in the bottom, uh, even that was empty. Uh, but... <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today we got some variations that I've been finding over the past couple of weeks. They're from different cases. They're from the uh, Q and the P and the A cases, right? Yeah, that's Q. That is Q and A. And that is P. And these are uh, actually K and A. All right, we're going to get to those a little bit later. Let's look at these first up. These are from the P case. These are the sand burners and they are done in the race team colors. Now the uh, the paint on these are semi-gloss uh, dark blue. Now you know sometimes a semi-gloss goes uh, or you know it goes from a flat to a semi-gloss and these are both, uh, you know, like I said, semi-gloss. They got a little bit of shine to them, where the flat one's got no shine, all right? So the thing with these is in the, in the tampos, uh, in the race team colors themselves, you know, the, the, the red and the yellow and the orange, the number on the side of these, now I saw a lot of these, all right? The number seven is done in orange on the side and it's outlined in white. The uh, little squares are also done in orange. This one here, the number seven is brown, but the squares are done in orange. Now I know you're gonna say that, you know, it's dirty, the you know, because it's brown, it's dirty, probably, all right, um, but we're going to get to more that is totally, you know, totally different uh, or a, uh, a, a real brown. So you can look at it any way you want. And to me, you know, it's something different. You know, you, you guys know when you're out there searching for stuff and you collect variations, really not much going on. So you got to find and, and look for, you know, what, what, what's really cool. All right. And I've been finding these are really cool. So this one here, the sand burner, the number seven is, oop, hang in there. Number seven is orange, and the little squares are orange also. And this one here, the bottom one, the number seven is brown, and the squares are orange. Now, I would look for, and I'm still looking for, the squares to be brown also, all right? Now the reds are the same uh, and the yellows are the same on this. All right, they're really not too much different. It's just the, uh, n the number seven. Now, these are Q and A and these are both Qs. So let's go with these. This is the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. And these are done in, uh, let's see, are they flat? Yeah, pretty much. They are flat blue, all right, where the other ones are semi-gloss. These don't have any shine to them. Now, this one here has got a nice orange number six, and the squares are orange, and the stripes down the side are orange. This one here, the number six is brown, and the squares are brown, all right? And the uh, stripe down on the bottom by the rocker panel is not as bright an orange as the top one, all right? But they're definitely a bright orange and a brown. Uh, let's see about the stripes on the roof. Now, nah, stripes on the roof are both the same on these, all right? So you got the six and you got the, the little squares there, all right? Now... This one's going to get crazy. This is Q, two Q's and an A. Let's go with the first two Q's. 
Um, the number nine, number nine, number nine, <laughs> all you old guys will know that one. Um, the number nine on this one is um, a weird looking color. And we're going to have to find, because it's not really orange. It's uh, kind, of a, kind of a burnt orange. Not a brown, but a burnt orange on the number nine. And the squares on the side are also uh, kind of a burnt orange. Now this one, the body color is semi-gloss. This one's semi-gloss, and this one is flat blue. All right. And the one from the A case is a lot more glossier. Still semi-gloss, but it's got more shine than the other one. I know this is getting really confusing. All right. But the um, you can see on this one, like I said, they're both Q cases. And this is the, which one is it? This is the, the flat one. The nine is brown. The stripe uh, above the rocker panel where it says Dodge is brown. Should be orange. And the, um, the red in the Hot Wheels flame is a nice bright red. This one here. The flame is a dark red, and the stripe where it says Dodge is orange, and the the squares are the are, are the burnt orange, and the number nine is the burnt orange. All right, now we go with the A case, and this one is definitely brown in the nine. The stripe in the bottom is definitely brown where it says Dodge. The squares are brown. And the red in the Hot Wheel logo is a very dark red, maybe even a maroon, all right? So in the three of these, we have all kinds of different oranges and browns and everything else that's going on in there. Um, the hood, I want to say, yeah, the hood, there's some definite... Definite changes in those colors too between orange and brown. All right, but this is the Dodge Challenger drift car. It is from the Hot Wheel Race Team uh, series, and like I said, the uh, this one here, the Q. This is a flat blue paint. Uh, the other Q is a semi-gloss, and the A is a much glossier blue, all right? So check those out. I'm sure you're gonna find a whole bunch of different reds and oranges and browns in those. Let us know what you find in the, uh, in the comments below, all right? So that is the uh, race team stuff with the brown and the red and the orange, all right? So now, next one up is the Batmobile. And we have the K case, and we have the A case. Both these packages say new for 2021. Everything looks the same. Um, well, actually, no. The one from the K case is the with, with the gray wheels, and the one from the A case, and that has the black arrow discs on it. They say uh, 181 of 250. New for 2021, um, Hot Wheel first appearance on the card, got the Bat logo, and uh, the only thing different on the back is uh, that it says it's the A case or the K case. So let's go with the K case first. Now the body on this is a uh, black plastic body, and it is not really shiny, kind of a, kind of a dull black plastic. The interior is black tint chrome. All of the chrome on this is black tint chrome. There's also um, a, I don't know what kind of color you call it, maybe a charcoal, metallic charcoal. Uh, the engine in the back is done in that. And um, the one in the front 
is, uh, looks like it's black plastic part of the body, all right? The windows are, uh, are, are, are tinted pretty good on these. The base is a very dark gray plastic base, and the wheels are dark gray painted uh, aero discs, all right? Now the tail lights are done, they're painted red, uh, let's see, and nothing, you know, for headlights. Oh, there's also a, uh, a third brake light up on the top in the back there. Now this one here is from the A-Case, 2022 A-Case. And it is a black painted body. Um, I don't know if it is a metal body. Could be. I haven't taken one apart yet. But it is a gloss black body. The, uh, the chrome is black tint chrome, just like the other one. The engine in the back is painted uh, just like the other one, a very dark charcoal paint to it. The engine in the front is, uh, is also a gloss black. It's painted just like the body. The interior, uh, again, you know, black tint chrome. The windows are tinted dark just like the one from the K case. And the wheels are uh, all black plastic aero discs. And the base is dark gray. It um, might be just a shade darker gray plastic than the than the K case, but is definitely uh, these look like two totally different cars. Um, and if you're not looking for it, you probably pass right by it. But they are definitely uh, two different cars. Variations. Uh, you know, with the wheels and the and, and the paint and the body and and all that. So keep your eyes open. The um, the one from the K case is the uh, lighter one with with the gray wheels, and the one from the A case is the shiny gloss black one, and that has the black aero discs on it. All right. So here are our variations that I've been finding for the past couple of weeks from uh, the cases uh, that that are out there. Now you know. Hardly any stores have any product at all. I went to my Walmart the other day, uh, and man, they are empty. Even that, that big goofy thing, you know, that, that wrecks all the that orange display that they have hanging there that wrecks all the cars on the bottom, uh, even that was empty. Uh, but man, man oh man. So when it gets down like this and there's other stuff there that you've already gone through, go through it again. You never know what you're gonna find when you're looking for this stuff, all right? Cool. Hey. Uh, also, uh, make sure you guys check out the, uh, the official Mike Zarnock coloring book that was done by uh, Fireball Tim Lawrence and Fireball Publishing. You can get it on my website, MikeZarnock.com. Uh, you can get it from Fireball Tim at, at his uh, website at FireballTim.com. You can get it on uh, Etsy. You can get it on Amazon. All you have to do is search for Mike Zarnock coloring book. All right? It's a lot of fun. Uh, if, if you like to color or you just like Hot Wheels stuff. So, you know, and I think they're, uh, they're $9.99 with free shipping uh, at Etsy and uh, might be free shipping on Amazon also if you have Amazon Prime. So uh, there you go, the official Mike Zarnock Hot Wheels coloring book. Thanks for watching Hot Wheels TV, appreciate it. Um, please share our videos, please tell your friends, please subscribe. And of course, please be kind to one another. So until the next time, we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV. You guys take care of yourselves. And again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.